truth. The other topic I was going to talk about since we're talking about politics, especially if we just brought up Boris Johnson, I think it would be fitting for me to bring into the next topic, which is, and I know this is a very uh, outdated topic to talk about, because this happened about almost like a full month ago, but this was something that I was also wanting to talk about when it was happening, but of course I didn't have any time at, the, at that point. But I thought maybe, since we're talking about politics just now, Maybe this could be a perfect time to bring up this subject matter, which if I get up to the screen just now for you guys, hold on, share audio, share screen, hide that a year ago. This is this one from Sky News. The new 50 pence coin celebrating diversity in Britain and interest circulation next week. Now, again, this is old school news. So at this point, it's probably already in circulation. But again, this is something I really want to talk about just now in this case. So... Uh, <laughs> this is just absolutely hilarious. So diversity built Britain. You know, it wasn't be it wasn't the indigenous people of Britain. It wasn't the whites. You know, who served in World War Two or even way before that. No, 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 not those people. They're they're evil. They're bigoted. They're horrible. They're white. Uh, it's the minorities. They're the ones that built this country from the ground up. Like, get the fuck out of here. The coin is the part of a plan to, to feature a wider range of people from different backgrounds on coins and notes. Yeah, of course, definitely. Uh -huh. So we'll just get into the article right here just now. Around two and a half million coins celebrating the contributions ethnic minority co communities have made to the UK will enter circulation on Monday, which of course has passed that. The coins will feature the words that, that sorry, excuse me, diversity built Britain, along with a geodome representing connection and strength. <sighs> This is just absolutely just pathetic. Like the, the fact that the mainstream media, the government and everything that side, the global establishment, just how much they really just want to push us down our throats. This and because look, it's been said before by many other people within this side, but this whole pro-diversity, anti-racism narrative that's going on is basically just code words for anti-white. Because we've seen throughout our our education systems and whatnot that if you're white you need to be feel guilty for who you are you know you need to apologize for what your great 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 grandfather or grandmother might have done to minorities especially black people but it's just absolutely sad it's pathetic that like, there's just the way that these global establishments are willing to just get rid of everything to do with the west or with, with the indigenous people of britain and just basically just throwing them around as if they're absolutely nothing with these cover-ups with the grooming gangs and, and whatnot. It's just, it's, it's beyond sickening. And this, this whole diversity built Britain bullshit, it's just icing on the cake, on the shit cake to me. But like this is, it's just, <laughs> I'm laughing because not only just how patently absurd this is, but the fact that, uh, from people who I, I normally watch on a regular basis, uh, patriotic talk and, and all of that, of course, meme this to high heaven. So it, it, just seeing all the memes with it, it's just absolutely hilarious. Because like, it, it portrays a, a very... What's the, what's, the, what's the word or phrase? Uh, with the memes and stuff. Like it, just, it portrays a very accurate depiction of the whole diversity of strength within Britain, which it isn't. It's complete BS. Anyway, the Treasury says that the coin, sorry, that the, that the new coin show, coins show the intent of the Royal Mint and Chancellor Rishi Sunak to feature a wider range of people on coins and notes in the future. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Dominique Evans previously designed coins mark, uh, marking uh, VE Day and the Sapphire Anniversary of the Queen's con coronation and came up with the new 50 pounds using her experiences of growing up as a mixed race woman as inspiration. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Growing up as a mixed race woman as, as inspiration. What basically dealing with the fact that she had to go through like, some form of racism in the past. Jesus Christ, all these people, you know, whether they're, these minorities, whether they're born here or coming in here trying to act as if like they're British. I mean, look, at the end of the day, if they're not, they're British citizens, but they'll never be British. 
you know, they're Indian, they're Pakistani, they're Bangladeshi, and all this and that. Like, again, they're, they're British born citizens or British citizens, whether they came here legally and whatnot, but they'll never be British. You know, that's the thing. Um, she said, when designing this coin, I began by thinking about the people who inspire me and what diversity has meant in my life. I believe that no matter where you are born, we all belong under the same sky, and this was the starting point of the design. Okay, I believe that no matter where you're born, along with the same sky. Right, okay, that, that is the case. Why is there such a anti-white narrative going on? Why is it, if that really is the case, diversity is our strength and whatnot, why is it that there's still this ongoing pandemic? I don't mean the COVID-19 pandemic. I mean, like, this pandemic of of trying to portray white people as if they're absolute scumbags, you know, just complete nothing. Like, why is that the case if we're supposed to be all equal and whatnot? It's ridiculous. I wonder if there's anyone... Just just go back in the, in the chat just now and see from here. Uh, 12 people watching. Great. That's awesome. Thank you for... Again, th thanks, guys, for very much for watching the stream. I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you can, uh, please like and share the stream around and see if you get more people watching the stream. Of course... Uh, that'd be grateful in this case. But thanks very much for, for watching this case. <clears throat> uh, let's see. From Mike Honk again. Their lies are so bold as e is even on your, mo <laughs> on your money. That's true. That's definitely true in this case. I'm going to stand for a candidate in the Pakistani parliament. Do you think I will get anywhere? <laughs> I doubt, honestly, I doubt that, to be honest. I really doubt that. I mean... Who knows? <laughs> really. Uh, John Enoch Powell at MBE. Diversity means very different, so she is very different. She's clearly off her head. Oh, yeah, definitely. If I, I don't know if, if maybe the case here that she does come off as very narcissistic when it brought up earlier in that article how she used like her time being like this mixed race woman in the country as like inspiration. And it's like, but what does that have to do with anything in this case? But you know, uh, let's see if I get back to the article here. Share that. Here we go. Hide that here. Right, where was I think it was here. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. The background of the coin features a geodome with a series of interconnecting lines and triangles that form a network. Each part is equal and symbolizes a community of connection and strength. Right. Connection and strength. But just for minorities in this case. Right. Okay, that's wonderful. The coin was commissioned by Mr. Sunak after the discussions with the Wheat to Build Britain campaign, which supports fair representation of the contributions of ethnic minority communities. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wheat to Build Britain campaign, which supports the representation of, of the contributions of ethnic minorities. What, what type of contributions like? It's this whole argument where it's like, oh, well, in the past, you know, we helped Britain too. It's like, Fuck off. It's our history, not fucking yours. You know, you probably built your own history you know, through like third party, not third party, sorry, third world countries in the past, but not our own. Like, get fucked. Uh, let's see if I can find that We Too Built Britain. There should be a. Well, unless it's like a Twitter page, right? Let's have a look at that in this case. <laughs> Paying trip to the role of minority groups and in building Britain and campaign for representation in legal tender and statues, uh, signage, artwork, civic symbols. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is basically this idea of, oh, we want some representation too with Britain. It's like, look, you're not British. All these people from ethnic minority backgrounds, whether they, they were born here or come here legally and whatnot, look, they, these people are not fucking British. They will never be British. You know, these, I mean, again, as I said before, they're British citizens, don't get me wrong, but this idea, I mean, if we want to go into the whole demographics point of view, they're really not British in this case. You know, I'm sorry, but that is the case in this in this point. Uh, let me see if I could possibly, we'll see if I could finish the article and then see from here, because I think we're almost done with that. And then we'll briefly touch on this point here. Uh, let's see. 
I think I've read that part because no, wait, is that it? Oh no, here, here we go. I think there's a bit more. So this is a quote from uh, Sunak, what he said. He said, I have seen firsthand the contribution made by ethnic minority communities to Britain's history. I'm sure you have. This coin and the rest of their series will act as a fitting tribute to the very profound impact ethnic minority communities have made on Britain. And I am grateful to the Royal Mint for turning this around at record speed. Well, that was pretty fucking fast. And not only that, but It's just, it's just, it's just beyond sad at this point. Where it's just, just the desperation of these people wanting some kind of form of uh, representation of being like you know contributing Britain and whatnot. But I guarantee. You, but another thing about that is these are probably the exact same people who will also turn around and say that you know Britain is this horrible, evil, white supremacist, neo-Nazi country. And how it, it treats minorities like absolute horribly. And this, if that's the case, why the fuck are you even here then? Just fucking leave. Go back to where you fucking came from then. My apologies for the swearing, guys. I'm not, I, I do try and act like if I'm trying to swear less in my videos, but it's frustrating. With this kind of stuff, it's just absolutely frustrating where it's like, oh, because we, we'll say one thing, but then contradict ourselves in the very next. It's like, first of all have a bit of consistency with what you're saying and second of all if you really think this is a really bad place to live in then just leave go away leave us alone uh let's see I'll just finish off what i was saying here so that was from i should of course prime oh here we go prime minister boris johnson congratulated Ms. evans saying her design is the first in a series of coins the mint will be producing celebrating those who have helped shape our national history and culture <laughs> the only group of people i can think of who have shaped our national history and culture are the in indigenous people of Britain, not the minorities who came here during the 60s or 70s or the 80s or any anyone like that. The only group of people I can think of are the indigenous people of Britain, not these fucking minorities. Because again, I, I'm sorry to repeat myself here, but you can make the same point with well, these minorities coming into the country, want some representation and all that will also end up saying that Britain is a horrible racist country. If that's the case, then why are you here then? <laughs> There's no consistency with these people, honestly. Uh, the government plans to consult with we to built Britain or we to bb and other groups represent, representing ethnic minority communities on the themes of future coins in the series. The Royal Mint and the West India Committee, well, of course, will also be sending education pass to Prime <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> will be set will also be sending education packs to primary schools in England and Wales following the release of the coins. Zera Zaidi Zaidi, a fucking foreign, a campaigner who recently attended a roundtable event held by Mr. Sunak said ethnic minority people as well as all underrepresented all underrepresented groups need to, to see themselves re represented in Britain institutions. It is a part of a, of a of an invisible social contract, and it can build cohesion, promote a sense of belonging, inspire young people, and unite as us as a nation, showing that we we all have an equal stake in society. We are a diverse, modern, and global Britain. Let's show that this coin helps bridge our nation's past, its diverse present, and its future, looking for outward positively together but at the same time they're also the same group of people that gleefully enjoy the idea of whites becoming a minority by 2060 funny how that works right these are people that want to promote diversity and we're a global britain and you know let's have our own fucking farts yeah ooh, minorities representation but then criticizing white people as if they're the problems of society <laughs> just ridiculous uh, it's, it's absolutely just pathetic and I think from with this coin that of course is probably in circulation now but other than that whatever is going on when it comes to uh, in fact there was another event that happened uh, I, I was other people talked I think Patriot talked talk, talk, talk about this I believe PWR you know Mark Collette what was a PWR? I know Mark Collette and Laura Towler talked about uh, uh, Britain's Got Talent. 
you know what I'm on about where I think that Edward Bread's got town they did a show with like Black Lives Matter and and of the course the amount of people complained about it, I think it was about over a hundred thousand that complained. Might be wrong on that, but it was a lot of people that complained about it. But with that, it just goes to show that people with this the whole diversity stuff going on, people are just sick and tired of it. They're sick and tired of being told they're a basically a piece of shit because of their skin color, which the irony there with 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 the society they're trying to promote this whole diversity quotas and all of that, but then call one group of people complete scum because of their skin color. I think you know, I think people are starting to wake up and just see through the BS. You know, people are just sick and tired of it all. You know, they're sick and tired of um, being told again that they're complete scumbags because of their skin color. But then you can't criticize these minorities or these. Uh, foreigners coming into the country because you know they need a place to belong but then we'll also say that, is, that Britain is also a bad place which again why would they come here to begin with but that's beside the point so sure they can try and promote all of this progressive stuff all they want but at, at the end of the day no one's buying it nobody within our side at least I would say our side but I think more the normie you know, the people who are, who are maybe apolitical in this case are maybe also starting to look at this and think, you know, what, this is just getting complete ridiculous now at this point. Uh, no one is buying this at this point. You know, no one is. It's nice to see that the, the times are starting to change within the culture. But I think later on, I think maybe it's only a case of we we'll just need to keep promoting ourselves and trying to make sure that we call out the BS that it is in this case. So I think that's about it with this article. So that's fine and dandy. So overall, it's a complete BS with a diversity coin. It's absolute gay. But, <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, if you want to promote like a coin with that, then great. You know, that's, you know, that, that, that's all fine and dandy in this case, I guess. Uh, any more people in the chat? Hold on. Let's see here. Quite a few people, actually. I'm so happy with that. Uh, let's see. Can you imagine an Indian uh, rupee with Britain built India on it? Neither can I. No, no, that's that's a good point. I would never. You would never ever see that. In fact, who was it that said it? Um, fuck, I'm trying to think. There was someone. It was on a live stream. I was watching. Uh, it was Goodfellow. I think it was a Goodfellow. Uh, who? He doesn't identify like an ethno now, but he's pretty based when it comes to this stuff. Uh, you know, when it comes to like the, the this side of, of 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 the right, if you will, he made a good point where it's like when it's been talked about uh, the whole representation with Britain and whatnot. Uh, like it's like if he were to go to like a country like I don't know, Azerbaijan or Somalia or whatever, and then he goes into the, into the public frame and then is that acted like right there's oh that that's right he was talking about Hamza Yusuf which that's gonna be another topic we'll talk that's probably the last topic but anyway he was talking about Hamza Yusuf and of course the famous clip when he's in the Scottish Parliament talking about oh uh every everyone in this cabinet is white and everyone in the country is is white you know about I think it's about 96 97 percent white country you know Scotland that is uh, and of course, he made a response to that. It's right. Well, that's like if I, a, a white man, go to like any other third world country and then trying to change the, the government procedure with all, with, you know, trying to get less of these uh, indigenous people of this respected country to, to go out of office so that people like myself uh, can come into office, he would be laughed at. They would be completely laughed at. But for some messed up reason, when it comes to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to like here in the West, when you have someone like Hamza Yusuf coming out and saying, you know, there's too many white people in the cabinet, this needs to be uh, like changed or whatnot, then it's completely fine. I again, going back to what I was saying before, like people, I think people are starting to wake up and just see, like, just, you know, enough is enough. Like, we're sick and tired of being treated like, complete second-class citizens and of course it's going to be even worse by 2060 but it's just because even back in the day when i was like a seven before i came over to become an ethonap uh even then I, I was just like well 
why is it such a bad thing to say, you know, it's okay to be white? Because it is okay to be white. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, it's, well, I mean, I guess you could say it's okay to be other minority, like black or Asian or whatever. But as soon as it gets to white, then all of a sudden it, it, people act like, well, you see, there's like a racial connotation with that. You know, you can never say, uh, it's probably uh, in connection to white supremacy and what, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, like in connection to white supremacy and whatnot. It's like, okay, if that is the case, then don't, wouldn't you make the same argument when it comes to Black Lives Matter? Like, oh, that must support like some black supremacy movement, like the Black Panthers. You know, it's just, it's just blatant double standard. It's this blatant case of of uh, this anti-white narrative, which, to be quite frank, I'm getting sick and tired of and a lot of people are getting sick and tired of, so it's nice to see that people are starting to wake up. But I think maybe they're waking up, but I think it's still kind of the case of they'll not say anything about it because, again, they don't they don't want to get into, like, complete bother with, like, the police and whatnot, which I can understand, but I think only time will tell. And I think things are only going to get better from here, but, again, we just need to wait and see from there. Anyway, before I get into the next topic i see 16 people are watching the chat that's to be honest with you folks that's actually a rare for me because usually i would get maybe i don't know four or five maybe six people watching the stream but that's i mean i know 16 is not a lot but that's still a record for me which of course i want to say thank you guys very much for watching the stream i, I really do appreciate it it's awesome for you guys to do that um let me have a read through the chat again see if there's anyone else <clears throat> written here mike honk diversity means less white people we all know that yeah exactly i think that's what i was trying to say in this case but definitely yeah definitely mike uh can you imagine it oh sorry i already read that one out here they are not british and in the mean in the main they don't back britain either exactly they they never will back britain they, they claim to but they never do in this case with that never uh in fact most of the people who come here anyway again legal or illegal they usually work they collect the money and they just send it back to their own fucking countries anyway so it's like it really goes to show that they, they, they really don't give a damn about britain to begin with but uh let's see the worst is the is the not all trope of course not not all get your children raped blown up and stabbed i know it's ridiculous blue monday hello, hello sir how you doing hello to you too uh miss britannia hello miss britannia how you doing <laughs> Blue Monday, white, 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 white. Uh, Mike Honk is responding to Blue Monday and, and Miss Britannia. Uh, the Last Red Squirrels. The only diversity that built Britain is English, Scots, Welsh, and, and Irish. Yeah, exactly. To the point I was saying earlier on, it's it, Britain was made by the indigenous people of Britain, or in this case, Britain built Britain. It was the British who built the Britain. It was English, the Scots, the Welsh, and the Irish. It wasn't we Jamal from North Africa, whatever. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, Zimbabwe from India or whatever. It wasn't those groups of people. It was the indigenous people of this country or this nation who built Britain. And that is a fact. And the fact that they're going out of their way to try and change that with this whole history of revisionism and trying to fucking change it as if all oh, the white people need to be accounted for for the atrocities in the past, like just fuck off. Which is why, going back to the scene, it's okay to be white. It is okay to be white. Hey there, this is Chief Moody. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, then you know what to do. Hit that like button, comment down below, share this video, and if you're new to the channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more content. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. This is Chief Moody signing out, and I will see you all next time. Take care.